call this look uh, April showers bring May flowers and I really wanted to make sure that I finished the look while April was still going on um, so I had a lot of fun with this look but um, I just kind of made it up as I was going along I got this concept just the like paint mixing idea from Nightmaring. If you don't know who she is, I'll link her down below. Um, but if you want to see how I got this look, um, just keep watching. I have an idea as to what I'm doing, but I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah. So the idea behind the look that I have in my head, it's called um, April Showers Bring My Flowers. And uh, I kind of want to try to do some kind of a paint mixing with some blues and whites and a silver from this uh, knockoff of the Makeup Forever flash palette. Um, so I'm thinking I wanna use these blues, the white, the silver. I don't, there's no purple in here and I really don't feel like I'm mixing one so maybe a teensy tiny bit of the pink. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm, I just kinda wanna play with it and see what happens. Um, so I guess we're just gonna kinda jump right in and see what we can do. I don't have like a spatula or anything like that, but I do have these brushes, these mermaid brushes that like kind of have the end of a spatula and I'm kind of, yeah, I'm gonna use those. And I'm just gonna start like globbing things on my face and see what happens. I'm a little nervous. Like, I don't know. Do I want to start on my eye? Yes, I do want to start on my eye. Let's see, that one. I'm also like worried that I'm gonna waste a lot of it, but then again, you never know, unless you just do it. And I'll put that one there. I'm like, it's all just gonna wash off, so. one there and then I'm gonna take a little bit of silver like literally just like a tiny bit and glop that in there too and then I'm just gonna take a brush this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that comes in every one of her palettes and I'm just gonna kind of to town and see what happens and see what it makes. I'm okay with it. I think I want a little bit less of the dark blue and a little bit more of the light blue and the white and even the silver because I want this to go like down. So I'm gonna start with the light blue. fluffier brush and see if we can just actually okay this looks good for what I'm thinking just to blend out those edges yeah I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of the blue of the darker blue in some spots. 
and I want it to go downward because it's supposed to be like rain. I do like the top lid though. I really like that a lot. It's not quite what I had in mind because I wanted it to be a little bit more sporadic. There we go. I like that a lot better. So it's more sporadic and then for the flowers this is gonna be fun I actually have dried flowers that I got off of Etsy I will link down below where I got them and I'm very excited to try this I think this is really pretty and really creative and I thought it would be perfect for this and they're just gonna kind of like go around this general area. And I'm just using dual lash glue to glue these bad boys on. So I'm just putting some glue on the back. It doesn't have to be perfect. And like the same that you would do with your eyelashes, just kind of wait for them to get, wait for it to get tacky before you put it on. Trying to decide if I want it to go down my neck. My neck. I don't want to use all of them. <sighs> I kind of have an idea. Hold on. These. I might do this on my neck, honestly. Oh, she's sweet, but a psycho. These are from Paper Self. I think I do want to put these on my on my neck. Oh gosh, I need to put the lid on the paints before I stick something in them. Like my finger. I always put like trash other places and there's a trash can like literally right over there. I think I do want to put this on my neck and that's going to take some time and I can't do that here at my desk. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I got this tattoo on. I'm not 100% sure how I like it. I feel like I should have put it up a little bit higher, but I feel like it looks a little bit wrinkly and it's an interesting angle, but not because the tattoo is bad. The tattoo is absolutely gorgeous, but I think cause I like really st like straight my neck when I was putting it on, when I just relax, it looks like wrinkled, but the tattoo itself is beautiful and it was a super easy application. I feel like you could do that wherever you want it on your body. Um, I'm going to keep going with gluing on more of these flowers. Like I said, I want to do this one next. Um, and I think I just want to like bring them around probably over here. Oh, I like that idea of bringing them over here. Um, so this part is probably going to get sped up. So I'm probably going to put a little bit of music on in the background because I'm probably not going to do a lot of talking.
I think I have a good amount of flowers on that I'm satisfied with it. Now I think what I wanna do, I kinda of wanna take a gray color and kinda of go along the edges just to show like darkness and like a storm. <laughs> I don't wanna stick my finger in, okay. So this is a crown brush palette and I think I'm gonna use like these two over here or like some combination of things over here. And I'm just gonna use another one of those Anastasia brushes. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, the one that's completely like gone and mix it with a lighter gray that's right next to it. So these two right here. And I just want to go around the edges just for like shadow effect and I kind of want to bring that into my hairline. too intense right here so I'm gonna take like a whiter or a cream color and just lessen it a little bit so it's not as intense Just like, hey, there's, there's, there's some rain there. <laughs> um, and then what I want to do, you know what? I'm just going to stick with the same palette, honestly. I might as well. I want to use just like some shimmery colors to bring down here. Just for some life. Nothing specific. Just some nice shimmers. I think what I want to do for this side is just use a blue eyeliner over here. I'm not quite sure what lipstick I want to use yet, but I think I'm going to do this for the liner on this side. I'm going to pop some lashes on and figure out what lipstick I want to wear. And then I think I want to call this done. So I will be right back. I think, I think we got it. My hair is so dirty, it's not even funny, but it looks kind of cool over here. Anyway, um, I popped on some lashes. I wish it was as easy as popping them on. Um, I'm still learning when it comes to lashes, but I did pop some on and these, these guys are massive. And I put some, I just put a blue wing on that side and pop some highlighter on everywhere over here. Um, um, I'm really liking this lipstick. It's like a dark purple.
purple. The lipstick is from Mellow Cosmetics. It's in the shade Tokyo. Um, and then the lashes are from Midas Cosmetics. They're in the Lash Worker Bee. I don't know if they're still selling these because these were on sale because they wanted to get rid of all of their, um, their mink lashes and they wanted to go all synthetic. Um, so I don't know if they sell these anymore. Um, but if they do, they're definitely going to be on sale because I know they wanted to get rid of them. But I picked up four, four pairs. So my lash drawer is definitely full. I wouldn't say full, but there's a lot going on in there. Um, I also took um, just a black liquid, not liquid, a black um, felt tip liner and ran that through my eyebrow a little bit just to give it a little bit more um, definition. But um, this is the whole look. I'm actually really proud of myself for this. Um, I really like it. I hope you like it too. Let me know in the comments down below if you like it, if you've ever tried something like this. How do you feel about um, tattoos? How do you feel about this style of makeup? How do you feel about like half and half? I just wanted to stick to one side and just leave the other side clean. Um, I will have lots of things linked down below, um, especially the flowers and the tattoo. Um, yeah, check out the description box down below. I'm going to add a lot of things there. This really makes me want to get a neck tattoo. I'm not allowed to work. Anyway, um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, let me know if you want to see more videos in this kind of style where it's not necessarily a tutorial. It's just like, hey, this is this is me putting makeup on my face. Hit the subscribe button if you want to hang out more and see more videos and just see what's up. Um, anyway, it's like 12.30 in the morning and uh, I have to pee for the 18th time of filming this video. And um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all the, all of the things. Bye.